for our top story. One of the world's most notorious leaders, Kim Jong-il, has died at the age of 69. His death was announced on state television late tonight. NBC's Bruce Hall takes a look back at his life. Even in death, many of the details of Kim Jong-il's life are elusive, cloaked in secrecy that surrounded much of his rule in North Korea. In 1964, Kim graduated from Kim Il-sung University and was groomed to take over the country. But it was not until 1991 that he achieved real power when despite his lack of military experience, Kim Jong-il took control of the armed forces. With his father's death in 94, Kim took over the leadership. But North Korea fell deeper into poverty, struggling to feed and provide for its own people. In the wake of the September 11th terrorist attacks, Kim Jong-il and North Korea were thrust into the forefront. President Bush labeled North Korea one of the world's most dangerous regimes. States like these and their terrorist allies constitute an axis of evil, arming to threaten the peace of the world. Kim Jong-il played an international cat-and-mouse game with its nuclear program. Kim called off talks with neighboring Asian nations and continued to threaten the world with nuclear attack. Some called him vain with a delusional persona, but others said Kim Jong-il was a clever manipulator, willing to take risk to preserve his family's regime. Bruce Hall, NBC News. It's not clear how Kim Jong-il died, but he did suffer a stroke in 2008 and was to believe to have diabetes and heart disease.